hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to save a OneNote page as a pdf on windows 10 let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on microsoft OneNote, i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Saving a OneNote page as a PDF on Windows 10 is a simple process that offers several benefits depending on how you plan to use the notes. So for example, you have already opened the Microsoft OneNote application on your desktop. All you're going to do is really simple. Go to the file section on the upper left corner and then there isn't a save direct feature or button here on Microsoft OneNote. But instead, I want you to click the printing options. Because if you do, what will happen is, if you click the Microsoft, Microsoft or print to PDF, all right, click the print button, you would have an option to save it as a PDF, all right, it's very easy, and of course, save it to your computer, that's it, and then, you can also just do the same thing on the Microsoft OneNote on the web version, go to file, click the print option, similar uh, to the, uh, method earlier go to the microsoft print to pdf save as pdf and then save it to your local computer and you would have the option to save it as a pdf on your account now pdf is a widely recognized format that can be easily viewed on any device without requiring one node for any specific software and from there once you have saved the pdf you can basically go to your microsoft outlook if you want and create um you can share the content as a pdf ensuring that recipients uh, can view your notes for example we're going to create a new mail you can add uh, a subject here and of course attach the pdf that was generated because the uh, pdf ensures that recipients can view your notes even if they do not use the microsoft OneNote. that's the reason why you have exported that to pdf or you can simply use the pdf file right here as an attachment if you're planning to use other uh, email software service which is useful for creating professional documents such as reports presentations and reference materials you can always go to uh, the microsoft tools for example uh, powerpoint you can use that pdf if you want to present something here all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video